We're back at Crystal Cove. Visibility was absolute garbage, as you can see here. There might have been some garbage in there from the spill uh, last week. I think it was Friday. Um, you can look it up yourself. There was a big spill um, pulling out of Long Beach of raw sewage. Um, they clear the beaches, but I'm always a little skeptical, wary when they do, um, just because I know how much has been dumped and how far down um, the sewage can go. But I'm not a scientist, so do your own research, take your word for it. But our experts said it's fine to dive, so take their word for it. But back to the conditions, uh, about five feet of viz, really light surge. Surf was about a foot, foot and a half. Um, but it was really, really tough finding these reefs. Um, one thing I did use on this dive were the buoys from the commercial fishermen. No, I did not touch or mess with the uh, the cages that they had, but I used them as general markers of where reefs could be because the visibility was so bad. Um, and one other thing I'm trying during this dive was I brought my float out and you'll notice um, I actually used a very small 1.5 pound anchor um, to anchor my float so I don't have to swim around with a bag. And also in this case, it helped me out because I was actually dropping the anchor um, close to where the reefs or where I wanted to dive. So even though I couldn't see the bottom, I can follow that line all the way down and dive where I wanted to go. But no lobster this time around. Um, I did see a handful, one decent hole full of them. Uh, but it was tough just fighting my way around uh, the really murky water. Um, I did grab two, but they were too short, so I let them go. Um, so with that being the case, I actually went after sea urchin, also known as uni. And I actually grabbed six of them on the, before I left the water. Um, had cleaned them up and enjoyed some, some of the uni meat, uh, which is always really tasty if you haven't tried it already. Um, there's different types. I'm not entirely sure on what kinds, but I believe they're red ones are the big ones, black, medium, and the tiny ones are purple. Uh, but don't take my word for it, do some research. Um, so before we start the video, um, I do wanna let everyone know that I am still testing out the anchor system on that float. Um, I'll let you guys know in a later video on what I think of it and if I recommend doing it in the future. But right now, I feel like I'm, I'm still not confident in recommending it or, or writing it off yet, but just so everyone knows. But without further ado, Enjoy the video. Hope you enjoy till the end if you want to see some um, uni eating.
All right, everyone, just got back from the dive, and what we're gonna check out today are the, the uni that was caught. So I just grabbed these from some of the reefs. So from my understanding, there are three, dips, three different types of uni that are, or sea urchin, that are seen throughout um, the area of the SoCal region. Um, this is, from my understanding, red urchin, and you could tell by the size, this is the one you want, the girth of it, black, and then there's purple, which are really, really tiny, um, kind of plaguing all sorts of central cow. But um, I'm excited for these two, these black ones. I don't think they'll yield too much, um, but let's crack them open. We'll start with this guy right here. What we'll do is flip it upside down. You wanna make sure the beak is exposed. So if you see that right there, there is the beak or the mouth. Sorry if I'm messing up the technical um, words, but what I do, you can either use pliers or you can use two spoons and you want them opposing each other like this. And the idea is you're gonna crack it in and then peel apart like that. So right in the center, you're gonna poke in, then push out leverage. So it's gonna crack open. And then let's see what the yield is roughly. We're gonna have to pull the, the meat out, but you don't want the brown stuff. Of course, you want the yellow stuff there. So let's check this guy out. You wanna be really gentle with the meat. And this particular guy. But what I'm gonna do is separate the yellow, the meat, from everything else, the gunk, clean it up, and then put it over ice. But yeah, there's one piece right there. Let's go ahead and set that over here. Let's just keep pulling that up. And each uni will have five pieces of meat. And this is the big one, this is the red. And you can see the difference between the red, and then from my understanding, this is the black. Let's see the back. So this is the black, and then this is the red. Black, from my understanding. I just know they're different. So this is the other red. This is the biggest one I got, it's a good size. This looks promising, so again, spoons. You wanna jam it in there nice and firm, and then leverage push them against each other, so. Popped open. This one. You notice they have different colors. That last one was a little brighter. This one's a little more orange. Have to clean these up, but this is the initial pull. So we just wrapped up pulling out all the meat from the urchins. So there's five pieces in each, regardless of size. So here's kind of the aftermath. That, and then I still need to clean them, but uh, here's all the meat that we got. There. I know it doesn't look great, but what we're gonna do now is put it in some salt water and then get some tweezers or chopsticks and um, get all the not meat parts out. All right, so here they are again. This is the uni meat that's not filtered out yet. Here's a bowl of salt water. 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and transfer this over to the salt water. What I'm gonna do is one by one, pull out the meat, clean it, and I'm gonna put it on a plate with some napkins on it. And let it kind of dry a little bit, and then just get going. So there's that. Let's go ahead and grab one. Let's see if you can guess which uni piece is from which the larger red or the smaller black ones. I've seen in videos people use uh, tweezers, but I'm just gonna make do with what I got here. So now I clean most of the stuff off. I messed up some of these, but most of them are pretty good. They're cut up, but they're fine. Um, I have a fresh bowl of salt water. What I'm gonna do is individually grab one. Don't come in. I do a clean, last minute clean before I put these over the saran wrap on ice next to me. Not bad, right? Not the best, but I don't think they're bad. Try one. Try this guy right here. So I just have one here. Let's see if I can get a good angle. Not making it look very good, but there, there we go. There is a piece of uni right there. Right there. Let's try it out. Mm. Really tasty. Really good. All right, so that wraps up our dive, our, our uh, prep of the uni. Um, I just had a couple pieces. They're really, really tasty. But uh, I have a couple bits on the side. This is what I have left in terms of like bigger chunks. You have that right there. If you can see that. It's definitely a labor of love. You don't get a bunch of yield compared to anything else pretty much that you grab from the ocean but they do taste amazing for those of you that do like uni. Uh, for those of you that don't, you could experiment to use it as a butter instead of using regular butter. That's what I'm gonna actually try to do um, after this video is over, try out doing like a fried rice instead of using butter, use uni as a base, maybe with a little bit of oil and see how it goes. But I um, hope you enjoyed this video. Um, the conditions were not too great, but made the best of it, grab some uni. And a little fun fact, I do know that uni um, do eat kelp, so by you taking some uni, you might be helping a little bit with the kelp forest. So um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.